it's a bit odd. I just stumble across this. Usually, I'm aware of everything you, all the videos you make, the recent ones at least. <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there. I think it's a nice video, a nice attempt uh, at giving men some sliver of hope, albeit false hope, um, in a completely toxic, toxic at atmosphere, uh, i.e., the dating scene. And um, unfortunately, as much as I like the video, I, I have to respond in a, in a fairly contrarian fashion. Let me say at the outset that I'm not going to make any comments whatsoever about your marriage. I'll take your word for it. You say she's some grand exception. I'll take your word for it. Um, but uh, let me also say at the outset that the kinds of women, these potential women you could date, you're, you're talking about, to call them needles in the haystack, <laughs> sorry, it's, it's a bit funny. It, th that would be a euphemism. We're talking about microbacteria in a, in a haystack. We're talking, your chances are so infinitesimally small so as to not exist. And that's part of the problem. Uh, the other problem is Briefo's Law, which I always like to stress, and some of the video, obviously I made a video about that, and it's very important. <clears throat> Briefo's Law is important to every man because it basically will explain the nature of the female's view, and quite simply stated, uh, Briefo's Law states the female, not the male, determines all the conditions of the animal family, where the female can derive no benefit, that's underlined no benefit, from association with the male, no such association takes place with the following corollaries. Past benefit provided by the male does not provide for continued or future association. Any agreement where the male provides a current benefit in return for a promise of future association is null and void as soon as the male has provided the benefit. A promise of future benefit has limited influence on current future association with the influence inversely proportionate to the length of time until the benefit will be given and directly proportionate to the degree to which the female trusts the male. In a nutshell, and I go in much greater depth into that in previous video, uh, at the end of the day, men are simply utilities, tools, appliances for a woman. This has been uh, a state of affairs since time memorial, since thousands if not millions of years in our hominid ancestors. Uh, this is not going to change and has not changed. In fact, it's only worsened to uh, a degree in almost in to an in, 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 in ineffable uh, indescribable degree in today's current atmosphere. So if a man chooses to date, particularly in today's atmosphere, um, and he's not, well, put it this way, if a man chooses to date in today's atmosphere, he needs to be aware of Briefo's law, and he needs to be aware that every relationship with a woman at the end of the day is simply a business transaction. And usually the goods being exchanged are resources, money, luxury, in exchange for access uh, to the vaginal orifice. Um, well, that if a man is content with that, that's okay. Um, at the end of the day, a business transaction is okay, I suppose. Um, people have business contracts and engage in business and things of that nature all the time. What's not okay is if a man does not wish to merely be an, an application, a tool, an appliance, a utility, and goes in to the so-called dating scene with the notion that he is anything but that. Uh, he will always just be that. Um, and whilst you might find some women who are a bit more enlightened, it cannot be stated enough that Briefo's Law really doesn't have exceptions. You only have degrees within female kind to which uh, women will manifest uh, Briefo's Law. So in one woman, it might be completely, completely overt. You're getting a 100% specimen in terms of her relation or her reflection of what Briefo's Law is. In another case, you might only get a 10%, but which 
I'd, I'd probably I'd reckon that the 10% are the microbacteria in the haystack. Um, uh, so, but a man who's going to date, I think better advice would be to be aware of the nature of the business contract about what he's getting into. Be aware that no woman loves a man, she only loves him, she loves what he can do for her. And so the perceived love will evaporate upon his inability to provide the goods that she perceives as being her entitlement or her right or her desires, and he will be uh, thrown upon the trash heap um, when a better opportunity, i.e. a man who can provide the resources to a better degree, uh, to a better, greater extent, and so on and so forth, comes around the scene. So, I have to be contrary in here because uh, I, I, just, I just deeply disagree with your premise. Once again, I can't judge your marriage. Uh, you might have found one of the few women that you can count on one hand on earth who's not like uh, what I'm describing, or whose manifestation of Briefo's law is maybe 10%. Uh, you know, I don't know. But regarding the rest of them, particularly in the West, um, where feminism has created an inflated sense of entitlement that is simply immeasurable and insatiable, mind you. And because of this insatiability, that's where we run into problems. Uh, I think ultimately the problem with this video is, it, despite the very nice intentions, you're giving men a false sense of hope, um, unless they're very clear about the nature of the business contract. If a man has enough resources, financial material, to engage in um, socially accepted prostitution. I have nothing against prostitution. Ultimately, that's what a relationship is, right? Uh, that's fine. But let, let's, uh, let's call it what it is. Let's not, let's not pretend that uh, these things you mentioned, uh, common interests, uh, maybe a similar sense of humor and so on and so forth, at the end of the day, they are, they are the contributing factors. Um, these, these are things that can create the illusion of cooperation, of unison, of unity. But the underlying factors, the fact that a man is and will always only be a utility for a woman, um, that's, that will never change, no matter how much uh, a man might have in quote-unquote common with a woman. And uh, say something on that issue. <laughs> talk about looking for microbacteria in a haystack, finding a, a woman with common interests, uh, it, that's pretty rare. And, and that's another, yet another obstacle if you want to enter into the business contract. But I also find it encouraging that ultimately you do encourage, you say that it's probably better to go your own way if in today's uh, toxic atmosphere, dating atmosphere, than to bother with, with it all. Um, my advice, and I think Barbara Russell has, has echoed this, uh, is that where it is obtainable, if you you know you need to get your rocks off, you know look for um, maybe short-term quote-unquote relationships, or fuck friendships, things of that nature, where you're simply getting access, uh, where you're satiating your um, getting access to vagina, satiating your uh, need, uh, your sexual addiction to women to some extent. Um, so maybe if, if you're that bad, you're not, you're not turning, you don't turn into a slavery and, uh, slavery and insane uh, menace to society. Otherwise, uh, you know, there's, there's not really much point in today's atmosphere. Um, Let's, let's bring up the numbers again. Remember, uh, I think Girl Rights What mentioned that OkCupid, which is one of the biggest dating sites out there in the Anglophone world at least, 80% of the women thought women, men were subpar. 80, sorry, sorry, women, women thought 80% of the men were subpar on the day. 80%. What does that tell you? Um, so, perhaps you're one of the, the blessed men of the world having found a woman with a very minimal manifestation of Briefo's law, and, um, but I, 
you're obviously very intelligent, so I, I can't imagine that you would advise men to go down a path that they are almost certain, certain to falter uh, upon, um, based on your own uh, what appears to be fortune. Now, I'm not being bitter at all. I'm just st simply stating the facts that the chances of finding the thing you're talking about are so beyond infinitesimal that investing in it, uh, investing energy, resources, uh, it, it, it's just a waste of time. And those, that energy and those resources could be better invested elsewhere, in my humble opinion. Uh, on the other hand, on a final note, I realize that there are a lot of men who aren't yet at the point mostly for reasons, in my opinion, they, they haven't yet fathomed what exactly is going on and what's happening to them, where they can jettison um, the female the, the female as, a, as an abstract from their lives. And in that regard, I think this video is very important because you know, if you're not ready and you still want to try your hand at it, well, this is reasonably sound advice. But I think most men, upon rational reflection experience, realize that there's no bang for the buck. That, uh, well, there, there is, right? You're paying for sex, essentially. But the benefits beyond that are, are, are marginal at, at best. Um, emotional needs are completely neglected. The mo uh, men's emotional needs are completely neglected because, remember, uh, men are not permitted to show any signs of weakness. And once again, as a final, final point, we men are and will always be appliances, utilities, tools to service the pleasure and interests of women. And what women bring to the table is simply spreading their legs. Um, there's nothing else that they have ever brought to the table. Uh, and nothing else that I can imagine they can, uh, at least within a relationship. So I appreciate the video very much. I think it's good for the men who are holding on to the last threads of hope before they plummet into the ravine. But uh, as good as the intentions are, um, I don't know. Uh, but it's a good video, and uh, I appreciate you making it. And obviously, we have very divergent points of view regarding this. Um, but I shall continue to support you. You are my YouTube ally and friend, so uh, let's uh, continue making videos.